seven months in 1965 on Broadway season, and it opened at the Schubert and moved to the La Fontaine, and was deemed reasonably entertaining by critics, but ended up losing all of its money. The show starred Herschel Bernardi, Cheetah Rivera, Nancy Dussault, and Mae Questel, who is best known for the voice of uh, Betty Boop and Olive Oil. And the set also kind of looks like a mall. <laughs> Just fun. It was like glow in the dark stickers. Yeah, totally. Uh, Bajor was written by Walter Marks and Ernest Kenoy. A New York Times feature appeared at the time about new musical theater writers. It noted, a new generation of composers is writing Broadway songs. The years when Irving Berlin, Cole Porter, and Rogerson Harrison dominated the musical scene are past. But there are some new musical theater writers on the boards, like Jerry Bach and Sheldon Hardick with a new musical Fiddler on the Roof, Walter Marks and Ernest Kenoy with Bajor, Jerry Herman with Hello Dolly, Charles Strauss and Lee Adams with Golden Boy, and Harvey Schmidt and Tom Jones with The Fantastics. Now, um, in the musical, two rival tribes of gypsies try to pull off a Bajor, or a swindle, on each other. Now, Bernardi's character wants to purchase Rivera's character from the opposite tribe as a bride for his son. Yeah. Um, it, gets more, it gets more problematic, just wait. <laughs> Dussault is an NYU anthropology major who slips in among the gypsies to see how they really live. As the LA Times wrote, don't let the story worry you. After a while, you don't notice it too much. <laughs> Bernardi's character rents a filthy store on 10th Avenue, and a hearse pulls up to it. Out of the casket emerges dozens of his gypsy brethren. Later in the show, he battles the gypsy king of Newark. <laughs> As you can see, you'll probably never see Bajor today because it's incredibly racist. <laughs> Now, the costumes for Bajor uh, were by Freddie Wittop, and they were highly praised. Each of the gypsies' dresses used at least 50 yards of chiffon. Some advertisements for Bajor included a telephone number that potential ticket buyers could call to reach an actual cast member who would explain the show to you and sing you a song. Can you imagine if that happened today? Can you imagine, like, call and talk to a newsie? Like, it would still be running. Like, Jesus. <laughs> I would just like to take a moment right now to introduce this lovely lady to my right, Jennifer Ashley Tepper. And this lovely gentleman to my right, left, is Kevin Michael Murphy. And our, at the piano, our esteemed musical director, Joshua Zecher Ross. And on the screen, Cheetah Rivera's foot. of Bajor, the show also featured Michael Bennett in the chorus. Fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bajor was Michael Bennett's last Broadway credit as a dancer before he moved into choreographing. The role of Cockeye Johnny Dembo was Herschel Bernardi's Broadway debut, and the same year Bajor closed, he became the replacement Tevye in Fiddler on the Roof, a role he would gain great acclaim for. Here to sing another tune from Bajor, Herschel Bernardi's son, Michael Bernardi, straight from the cast of the revival of Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, what's up? Hi. Yeah, so it's pretty obvious I'm making a career of being my father's Dybbuk. <laughs> I can do other things, but it's okay. It's um, no, I mean, honestly, it's, it's a pleasure to sing these songs, because I didn't really know my father. He passed away when I was very young, not to bring the mood down or anything, but uh, the truth is, is that doing these songs, it's, it helps me kind of, I don't know, identify, to learn, to sharpen myself off of the same stone that, uh, that he learned from, that he created his identity. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but that's been my answer for the past year and a half. Um, oh, I have a story about this show. Uh, so, let's see, the story goes is that the way that they found out that they were closing was um, they were all sitting in the dressing room and the producer came in with a big smile on his face and he had uh, the paper you know, with him and, uh, but he was bleeding, and he wrapped, he threw down the paper, and inside was a large, dead fish. Oh, and that's how they found out. Ah. <laughs> that's the old days. Oh. <laughs> this is a great start to the show, guys. That's, that's show business, guys. <laughs> 
Y'all ready? Yeah. Look. Hey, New York, long time no see. Ten years I've been on the road, and my tribe and me. Picking pockets in Pittsburgh, reading palms in Duluth. Stealing hubcaps in Detroit, spinning soccer as a dude. Riding fast, living gypsy, sifty card, shifty deal. Making time in Poughkeepsie, doing time in Mobile. Hey, New York! Liberally sirens ring. Oh, welcome back to Kaka Johnny Dembo. Gypsy's been for stealing, so it seems we should be in. So move over, move over, New York, New York, we're started by stealing in. Now you stole you from the engines for some trinkets in a sack. So move over, move over, New York, New York, we're going to steal oh, you back. On order is sweeping the country, it's grabbed up the atmosphere. But we heard that ill begotten games can still be gotten here. So if you keep away your collars from our gypsy empty store, we'll move over, move over, New York, New York, till we find what we're looking for. A chance to make a bundle and rack up a big time score. A chance to make a bundle back home. 